Hi guys, welcome to Scorpio Cat Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing the earth signs. So, um, first up we are going to do, let's see, why don't we start with um, Taurus. Okay, we'll do Taurus first. Alright, if you have not yet, um, subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you would do it. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. Um, what I'm going to try to do is uh, on Sundays, I'm going to post um, like one card for each sign as kind of like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Glimpse into your week kind of thing. And then um, I'll post in the week, like a weekly reading. So this this is gonna be Taurus's reading right now. All right. Let's get all shuffled up here. I hope you guys don't mind the lighting. I like it a little darker, a little witching. <laughs> I feel like I read better in the, in the dark like this. I don't know. But anyway. Let's do it for Taurus. What we got going on, Taurus? I'm just going to lay them all out, okay? And then we'll do the reading from there. lovely Taurus this is starting off the reading with the Sun card it's funny because when I did um, yesterday or the day before I pulled one card for each sign and Taurus this is what I actually got for you so it's kind of trippy that it came up again I feel like right now and I said in that in that collective reading that I felt like Taurus right now you're all about finding happiness and um, just cutting out what no longer makes you happy with stressing you out, like nonsense. You're just getting rid of a lot of nonsense. Basically, you're doing some house cleaning, some spring cleaning of your life, and just getting rid of all the excess, the stress, the BS, and you're just bringing it back to happy. Um... I do see here, <laughs> there's a third party situation. Um, and the temp followed by temperance. And the Knight of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Now, those four cards together telling me that there was a situation where you were involved with someone and then somewhere along the lines you got involved with somebody else at the same time put you in this third party situation okay followed by the temperance card says to me that your love life is not balanced. Your romantic affairs are, I had this lady say this word to me one time. You know, I work in, in, in the medical field and I, I have patients and I had this one patient tell me one time, she said, my blood pressure was all cattywampus. And I said, I've never heard that word. I love that word, cattywampus. <laughs> so, <laughs> When I saw this, 
I just thought, okay, your love life is cattywampus. <laughs> so, um, there's a lot of unresolved shit going on with you, Taurus. Um, you're holding on to a lot of um, pain, a lot of hurt. There's a lot of unresolved stuff having to do with this third party, okay? Now, if you ended it, it didn't end well. Um, I see you being very guarded here. Um, I think that you're probably holding back and not giving too much of yourself because of the pain and the hurt that you've just been through. I feel like you're very incredibly guarded right now, Taurus. And you're manifesting something. The magician is all about manifesting. It's all about making things happen, okay? And it's followed by the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like, Taurus, there is a, a person that you see as very um, regal, very noble, has her stuff together, um, very articulate, intelligent, you know, is this queen of pentacles energy. I feel like you're trying to manifest somebody with this per something with this person. That's a page of wands. So you're thinking about taking some kind of action because wands are action, passion, creativity. You're thinking of taking some kind of action, I believe, towards this Queen of Pentacles. Justice. Because I, I think that part of this, this Nine of Wands, is that you felt like it didn't go down fairly. It didn't turn out the way that it was supposed to with somebody involved in this third party here. And perhaps it's that Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> and now maybe you're trying to manifest something with them. I don't know. I do feel very strongly that, that, that there's a lot of pain and a lot of hurt associated with your past person. And um, look what just happened when I said that. You're feeling cut off from them and you're feeling distant from them, out in the cold. You know, I feel like um, you're wanting to communicate with this person and just make everything right. That's the seven of cups. I call this the things aren't what they seem card because if you look at it, you know, he walks into this room, it's full of golden cups, it's gorgeous, right? You think, oh my God, I hit the, hit the lottery with this. You know, uh, what a lucky man. Okay, look in the cups though. There's like severed heads and lizards and dragons and ghosts and stuff, you know. So this guy is thinking, Oh man, this looks so great. This is going to be fantastic. This is going to be everything that I've ever wanted. And then when you get up to it, oh shit. It's 
Taurus, right now you're in a self-imposed prison. That's what this is all about. This is a self-imposed prison. If you see, she can get out of here. She just doesn't know how. She's blindfolded, okay? If she could get that blindfold off, she'd figure out how to get the hell out of there. But she can't see. She can't see right now. She Don't miss the irony of this. She can't see the direction that she's supposed to take to free herself from the situation she put herself in thinking that she had found the be all to the end all only to find out it's ghosts and severed heads. Are you following me, Taurus? You put yourself in this situation and now you can't find your way out. And um, yeah. You're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting a do-over. And I believe it's with this Queen of Pentacles. Oh my God, my nose itches. My nose itches when I'm on point all the time. It's like a, it's like a weird spiritual thing. And my nose is itched. Eight of Wands. There's going to be some kind of communication coming through. Messaging. There's a tower. Forward movement. The Empress. So along the lines of the self-imposed prison, the Eight of Wands, right? We have, um, there's a tower moment. Something big is gonna happen. Something big is gonna go down. And I feel like it's gonna be between you and your current person. And I do believe it's going to prevent any forward movement with them. I see a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting, arguing. There's the King of Pentacles that matches that Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So we went from the Page of Cups to the King of Cups. I think some kind of communication is gonna come through. We're gonna be talking to this Queen of Pentacles. Because you're in the same energy, you're in the King of Pentacles energy. So you're just wanting to build, to grow, to get your money right. Um, you're focused on happiness, your job. Um, getting your financial affairs in order. That's all, you know, King of Pentacles energy. And I feel like you're thinking that this Queen of Pentacles is the better match for you. But now you're stuck in this position with the Seven of Cups hoe, <laughs> who turned out to be, what you, you know, wasn't what you thought. Um, And I think the key to your happiness, Taurus, is freeing yourself from whatever situation that you got yourself into. You know, sometimes Taurus, Taurians can be very stubborn and they don't want to admit when they've made a mistake or that they were possibly wrong. You know, it can be very difficult for you guys. My son's a Taurus, I know. Yeah, my brother's a Taurus. You know a lot of Tauruses. Uh, very dear friend of mine's a Taurus. Y'all are some rock hard headed, stubborn individuals. <laughs> like for real. Um, but the best path to your happiness is to, like I said, you're cutting out things that don't make you happy, that stress you out. And I believe one of these things is a self-imposed prison that you've gotten yourself into. 
You're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting to contact somebody. There's a tower moment that's going to prevent you from moving forward with your current person. There's a lot of arguing, a lot of uh, bickering, a lot of back and forth. Um, I feel like accusations are, are going to fly. And you're feeling like maybe I want to go back to the Queen of Pentacles and set things right because I didn't treat that person fairly. And, you know, this is this has just been you. <clears throat> All right, let's pull some Oracle cards. These are the Romance Angel Let's see what they say. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, see, Taurus, this is what I'm freaking telling you right now. You just got to like find a way to free yourself from the situation that you're in. And you need to like full on go in hermit mode and just do some self evaluation, some soul searching, and figure out what you have to do to get to this. Because I feel like this is your goal right now this is happiness. And if you see, this is a, a little naked baby riding on a horse and he's got his arms outstretched. And this is like, you know, this is not your basic, I'm in a good mood. This is friggin' joy. Look at this. And, you know, I want this for you, Taurus. And you have to figure out what's keeping you from that. And you have to admit your mistakes and say, you know what? Maybe I need to redirect. And do that as many times as it takes to get where you need to be, okay? Separation, time from your person, time apart from your person is on the horizon. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So like I said, I feel like there's something going down that's going to put separation between you and your current person. I feel like there's going to be a lot of bickering, a lot of accusations, a lot of bullshit. Um, and I feel like you're looking to go back to that queen of pentacles and it says you know your romantic feelings are worth exploring give your relationship a chance work on your partnership unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going i, I feel like very strongly that you got yourself into this new thing with this person and yeah maybe it was great for the first five minutes or so but now you're like what the hell did i do it happens a lot and especially if you have any kind of trauma in your past you know sometimes you just react without thinking that could be what had happened i don't know Let's pull a lover's oracle card. Oh, this is pretty. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Pretty. It's a pretty card. All right, so. Like I said, I feel like you need to take some time to yourself. A little space to yourself. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Another really pretty one. Isn't that nice? So I feel like there's definitely time apart on the horizon, like the card said. I, I've gotten two, two Oracle cards that say you need to give it space. Um, whatever's going down here, it's not making you happy, Taurus. Free yourself from that prison, you know? For yourself, send the message, you know, do what you got to do. Life doesn't get any, any longer, you know what I mean? It's just getting shorter every day. Do what you got to do to make you happy. Don't stay stuck somewhere for no reason. 
It's that easy, right? All right. So that's what I got for you, Toys. I hope that that resonated with you. And um, I'll see you next week. Take care.